To insert text in Judo, use the insert menu, choose text, or you can simply press T. After you've added your text, type something in the inspector panel. The other option you have for adding text is just to copy and paste. So you can just select some text, copy it, and then paste it into Judo. Now after you've added some text, the next thing you're going to want to do is style it. To style text layers in Judo, you use modifiers. With your text layer selected, clicking the add modifier button, you're going to see a set of suggested modifiers that are commonly used with text layers. The first one that's the most important is the font one. The font modifier lets you control the family style and design of your text layer. By default, it uses the system font family. This is a typeface provided by Apple that's really robust. It works with a bunch of different weights, sizes, styles, and works with almost all languages. So that's a really good option to start with. Then you have style, and the style controls the size and weight of your text. There is a bunch of built-in styles, which are really convenient. There's also a custom option, which gives you fine grain control over the size uh, and weight of your text. Now the built-in styles, aside from being really convenient, also work with Apple's dynamic type system, which is really important for accessibility purposes. So to show you how that works, I'm gonna copy and paste this text a few times, and then I'm going to embed it in a VStack. And then I'm going to change the style property on these to show a variety of different sizes. Footnote and caption. Now the dynamic type system on Apple's devices uh, gives users with accessibility needs the option to increase or decrease the font, the text size across the system. And if you use these built-in styles, your text will adapt accordingly. You can preview how that's going to look using the preview controls in Judo. Down here, I'm going to open the accessibility preview control, and there's a slider that lets me adjust the text size. So we can see how my text is getting larger and smaller to respect the user's preferences. Now, if I set this to the custom style, you'll see that it does not adjust when I drag the slider. Sometimes you need that. That's a good option when you need it, but try to use the built-in styles as much as possible so that your text will adapt to users' accessibility needs. After style, there's a design option. This gives you, this only works with the system font, but this gives you a few options for how the text is rendered. There's a default one, which is just a simple sans serif option. There's a monospaced one where each character has the exact same width. Uh, this is really useful for displaying code. There's a rounded option, which is also sans serif, but has a more rounded style to it. And then finally, there's a serif option as well. After font, the next most commonly used modifier is this multi-line text alignment. So to show how that works, let's first add a component and then drag our VStack inside it. So now we're using a component to preview what, what this is gonna look like on a user's device. If I change the preview device size, you can see how it gets bigger and smaller. And we can see how our text is wrapping. So when we look at this, now that our text is taking up more than one line, we can see that by default, all our text is aligned to itself along the left edge. If we want the text centered or right aligned, that's where the multi-line text alignment modifier comes into play. Here I'll choose center and right. Now, this is a good opportunity to show you something neat about Judo modifiers. If I wanted all of this text to be center aligned, I could select each one and add the modifier. But you can also add modifiers to stacks. So let's select the V stack that contains all our text layers and add that text alignment modifier. Now, whatever setting I choose is applied to every layer within the stack. Next up, we have the line limit modifier. So you can see that the larger text size here is taking up four lines, the smaller ones are taking up two. 
If I adjust the accessibility preview, we can see that even the smaller ones are taking up more than two lines. Sometimes that's not what you want. You want to have fine grain control over the maximum number of lines that your text can wrap. To do that, we use the multi-line text or the sorry, the line limit modifier. And then we just set it to the maximum number of lines that we want it to wrap to. If the text would exceed the maximum number of lines, it truncates with ellipsis. Next up, we have the bold and italic modifiers, which are pretty straightforward. They do what you'd expect. And then finally, we have the text case modifier. The text case modifier allows you to type in normal sentence text and then force each character to be either uppercase or lowercase. Lastly, let's talk about custom fonts. I'm going to delete a bunch of these layers. To work with custom fonts, we go to the text menu, open the custom fonts window, and then click add. This gives you a list of all the fonts installed on your system. So you can choose one. I'm going to choose Poppins. And then you have to validate that you have a valid license. When you add a custom font to a Judo document, it embeds that font in your file, and this is so it will render properly on all platforms. After adding your custom font, it becomes an option in the font modifier under the family picker. Custom fonts work with the built-in styles as well, which is really convenient. By default, Judo will pick some same defaults for the size and weight for your custom font to use for each style, but you can control this. Clicking the gear icon below the style option brings up a picker with all the sizes and weights that Judo has chosen for the various styles. You can change these. Let's change body to medium and see our font adapt. When you use these styles, they will work with the accessibility settings. And of course, custom fonts will work also with the custom style option, giving you fine grain control over the sizing.